This building that stands behind me is a great example of a fire break that's used in a residence that's connected to an adjoining residence. This here is a perfect example of a two hour fire separation and this is something that uh, home buyers should be aware of and consider when they're buying a townhome. The difference in materials between these two would be for that two hour fire separation would be made out of uh, a block and the fire separation would typically be made out of drywall sandwiched together. Uh, each sheet of drywall providing a half hour rating approximately, depending on the thickness and quality and type of drywall. Fire spreads in the attic area um, effectively. Uh, it's a wide open space, lots of oxygen, lots of burning uh, material that can be burnt. Um, it provides opportunity to sweep right through a complex and what this does is stop the fire in its tracks. You may check your smoke alarms every six months but does your neighbor check their smoke alarms every six months? Another element that should be considered is the exterior cladding. In some cases, exterior cladding can be of materials that are combustible. As you can see behind me, the brick here is non-combustible, and non-combustible is very important. In a community such as this, the buildings are very close together, and radiant heat travels in a straight line. This provides the opportunity for fire spread between structures. And this is something that home buyers should consider, is the exterior cladding. In a townhouse community where the structures are built so close together, the opportunity for that entire community to go up in flame is very real. 